In this video, we're going to replace the PC600 or PC610 rear stretcher bar. So the first thing we're going to do is loosen the front two screws. Those are 5 32nd inch Allen screws, but just loosen those two front screws. Do not remove them. They still need to be securing the leg. Okay, then we need to completely remove the two sets of rear screws. Be sure to retain uh, the barrel nut if they fall out of the stretcher bar. And if they don't, you'll need to manually remove them because you need those to reinstall the new stretcher bar. Also be sure to leave the washers on the screws as they are. Again, retain the barrel nut if it falls out. Simply pound on one leg until it separates and remove the stretcher bar. So then to replace the stretcher bar, simply do those steps in reverse. Insert one side into the receptacle, line up the other side, and tap firmly with your palm to seat them completely within the chair legs. And those um, barrel nuts were, are inserted into the stretcher bar before the screw, which is the barrel nuts are what the screw screws into. So he's installing a barrel nut behind the stretcher bar and then screwing the screw into it. And the same thing on the other side. Install the barrel nut through the back and insert the screw into the side. Okay, then once he's hand tightened them, finish tightening those screws. And then tighten the front screws. Okay, if after tightening the screws and you're inspecting the uh, junction of the stretcher bar and the leg, you find a gap, such as this one, it doesn't look very good. Um, so what we need to do is do some manual adjusting. So take a, a 5 32nd inch um, Allen wrench, not a power one if you were using one before, use a, a regular Allen wrench, and loosen up those screws uh, next to the area that is not fitting cleanly. Just loosen them part of the way. Just a couple of turns. Okay, then with underneath there, with one hand grasp the stretcher bar, and with the other kind of use your shoulder and kind of push the, the side of the chair in while manipulating the stretcher bar with your hand until you achieve a clean alignment there. And then go ahead and tighten those Allen screws again. The stretcher bar should fit nice and clean and look, look like a nice smooth junction there like that.